this is the base of it, your iPhone's the base of it, it just interfaces with this. So you don't have to worry about that brain in your car getting old because you're mm -hmm. you're going to be buying a new one every year, two years, however you do your iPhone anyway. So if you're buying a f car like this, you're probably buying your phone pretty regularly. Um, uh, hey, what do you guys think uh, there on the other end there? I, I, have you been looking at a lot of this um, kind of car automation and, and, and integration stuff? Yeah, Mike, this is very interesting what John was talking about because this starts playing right into, into our little world. Uh, you know, basically everything we do here, even though we build mobile robots and bulldozers and stuff, the focus of what we do is ultimately cars that drive themselves. Um, so John's in the mall and he can start his car, but imagine the day when he walks out of the car, out of the mall and it's 30 degrees below zero and the car is sitting right there at the curb. <laughs> I could, I could How about we just do this? We'll mod my car that I have now. We don't have to make it autonomous. Let's just make it where I can like remote control it. We'll throw a webcam <laughs> on the front I, mirror. There you go, guys. He is offering his car for you guys to experiment <laughs> on. While you're at it, can you put one of those crazy wood chipper things on the front of it too so he can get through rush hour? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that, I mean, that I could, I could definitely see people using that. And think, of, think about it this way. Now, uh, if you you go to work and you send the car back home, mm -hmm. and the wife goes to work, I mean, it could definitely. Yeah, I saw it's there, definitely there was one demonstration um, where they are they were demonstrating on the road um, what happens if if the person falls asleep. So you just like took hands off off pedals, it dings five times, and then it just like slows down. And they said if it's set up um, and, and nothing responds after a certain time, and they will actually call for the police and everything. Um, like that's. That's important. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the kind of thing, you know. Um, uh, you know, if they get corrective stuff where they're just like, you know, something comes up and says you're driving too erratic, and you know, and there's maybe measures to help you out, you know, if you, know, you were an idiot and got too drunk or something, mm -hmm. or something else is going on, you know. Uh, how many people have a heart attack and wreck their car? You know, well, right? how many people? How many people? Their kids are home for an hour before they get home, and, and they're not of driving age. Not, something happens to them. If they can get to the car, the car can get them to seek medical attention. Well, yeah, I've seen that in a movie. <laughs> wait, wait. Now, you know, the same thing has happened in a movie with a car, and the same thing has also happened in a movie where they're riding a horse, and it just takes them to the Hot, Hot Wheels says kit. Kit? I think there that's you go. the <laughs> night industries. I mean, isn't all this, the, the, the vision of this is kit? Mm -hmm. Just like the vision of yeah. 2015 is yeah. Black to the Future 2. Uh, uh, you know, we all want the kit car. And now, and now we, we have the thing in our car that is talking to us, you know, with Siri or Google Now, um, and it just needs a little bit more of that automation. It, it's coming together. Well, that's, yeah. the, that's the one thing that I think we're, it's interesting, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting to see who comes out on top and, and first place, second place, however you want to look at it. Because I noticed one of the links you have in here is the Jarvis, which is Intel's headset. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it... It's more along the lines of a Google Glass where it's voice activated, but it's without the glass video part. It's more sending you Which audio is, yeah. information, but you can talk to it. Um, it's like if you had Siri in your ear, I guess. Right, but it, and it's interesting because I, I think I would use Siri more often if I didn't have to hit a button. Mm -hmm. Like if I could say, okay, Google, mm -hmm. or okay, Glass, mm -hmm. like I could see myself... And I think people are picking up on this because Intel's doing this and Nuance, the makers of Dragon Dictate. I forgot to put this link in there. They're going to have software for Windows that that's actually coming bundled for free with like, I think it's like Acer and Sony, Toshiba, a bunch of them, where it's going to be the, the Siri, OK Google type competitor. Where, the, where you can carry on a conversation with it, much like you can Google now, where you can say, who, um, what was one of the examples they gave? Uh, what film, like they were asking questions about Pulp Fiction, and they said, who else is in that movie? And like it can pick up on the system. fact where it's contextual nice. based on a conversation. Uh, Ray, you, you want to say something over there? Uh, yeah, I was talking about, you know, there, there's been lots of complaints about this increasing amount of, of uh, data and communication that's going on in the cars. But just like just what you said, all you can see all the pieces coming together that once the cars become fully autonomous, then the, the car can become a working office, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to want all that tech in your car. Um, 
So I, I think it's not like there shouldn't be a pullback from the technology of, you know, this information and tablets and things like that being in the car, because eventually it's going to be our mobile offices. It is. It is. And, and it's going to be smart enough that it's going to say, OK, hey, hey, stop, stop working on your 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 thing. You're late for for work. Uh, you should probably drive now because it's icy out, you know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. A little bit smart. Whereas I have to think about eh, it's wet. I shouldn't put use the cruise control, you know, and you get lazy. It's like, oh, crap, it's raining. I should I should turn it off like 10 miles ago, you know.